What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, November 10th, 2019. The bull market's not here yet. I just want to throw that out there. I'm going to, you know, talk about that in this video, in this technical analysis video, but the bull market's not here yet. And I see a lot of people out there hoping instead of preparing, just waiting instead of preparing. And they're doing that because they think they're that we're in a bull market. We're not in the bull market yet. We haven't had that confirmation in terms of Bitcoin cycles. And this is just my approach to technical analysis. Many disagree, that's fine. But we're not there yet. But we're we're very close and we're getting there. And we've gone through, you know, two years practically, almost two years of just this bearish environment. Obviously, we've had some recent gains from December, bear market low. But when we get that confirmation, when we get that bull market confirmation, that's when things are going to get exciting. All the hoping and waiting and wishing that many people have been doing over the last year or so, it's all going to come to fruition. So let's talk about this. Let's look at this. I want to define what marks the bull market. And it's very simple. Fibonacci, retracements, the cycles of Bitcoin. This is the biggest indicator that we have and this is what it looks like. This is what happened in the last cycle for Bitcoin. Here's the Fibonacci resistance, 618786. If you've seen these, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen it before, right? We've we saw resistance, came back down, we broke into the bull market. The reason why we broke into the bull market, that is the sustainable higher highs and higher lows. And that's what we're looking for to define a bull market, right? Right now, we have a we have a high, we have a swing high out of this previous bear market, but what we don't have is a higher high, right? And that, that first swing high is right at the same Fibonacci retracement. It marks the, the cycle of Bitcoin changing, and we haven't broken it yet. When we break that area, right, you know, 16,000 down to 14,000 or so, that will be the, the determining factor that defines Bitcoin entering the bull market, right? So right now we have that swing high, we have a swing low right now, and hopefully this is the swing low leading into another swing high, a higher high, breaking that Fibonacci channel, but we're not there yet. And that's the biggest thing that I'm looking for. When we get that confirmation, we will be entering what I think will be the most bullish environment for Bitcoin in its lifetime, namely because Bitcoin will then be on its way to breaking previous all-time highs of 20,000 and beyond with the halvening approaching in less than a year in May right here on the charts, right? Right at actually the apex of this very large possible symmetrical triangle. Uh, we're going to look at that in a second. But that is what we're looking for, sustainable higher highs. Right now, we only have one swing high out of the bear market. And we have to be patient and wait for this to play out. So going over to the daily chart zoomed in, here's what we're looking at. Here's our here's our Fibonacci resistance that we just looked at. This is the doorway. This little small rectangle is huge resistance for Bitcoin. And leading up to that area, there's a ton of resistance as well. The biggest thing that we can look for in terms of Bitcoin is this. Not We don't have to talk about Bitcoin potentially visiting the bottom of this longer term symmetrical triangle, uh, potential triangle. This would be a confirmation of the triangle, right? Down here, $5,000, $6,000 area. That could be bullish long term, but many people are not going to be happy with a move like that. The biggest thing we have to look at right now, if we're looking at the daily chart, is this very small range zooming in on the daily chart right between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. And just to give you perspective of what that range looks like, we're looking at 50 moving average, 200 moving average, like seven and a half percent range. It's it's incredibly small for Bitcoin on the daily chart. More importantly, hovering just above the 50 moving average. This is the one indicator I always talk about. If you're going to use any indicator, just use the 50 moving average. Are we seeing support above the 50 moving average or not? That will determine whether or not Bitcoin gets these higher highs and these higher lows that we want for Bitcoin to enter this bull market. Um, continued failure above or below the 50 moving average, right, really is illustrative of a continued downtrend. So if we fail to stay above the 50 moving average right now, that will spell out continued downtrend for Bitcoin. That's around $8,500 right now. We're only $500 away from that area. So there's a couple things happening 
in that regard. If we break this 50 moving average, we have a target on this very small symmetrical triangle, which we've already broken the lower trend line, target going right into this $8,000 to like, you know, $8,400 area. And this is a short term Fibonacci retracement that we're, we're tracking for Bitcoin, right? It's a perfect area to see support for Bitcoin, right? So even if we hit this target, we can still have a balance for Bitcoin off of this area, back up and really start testing some areas that everybody wants to see broken. Now, if we go to the four hour, though, we have a couple other things happening. We have this larger symmetrical triangle, right, that we broke the bottom trend line right back here. We broke the bottom trend line back in, you know, end of September or so. We've revisited that lower trend line, and that's pretty much what we're attempting to break right now. We're attempting to break this lower trend line to call this a busted, right? We can put an X through it. That would be a busted symmetrical triangle, extremely bullish. If we break this lower trend line right now, up around $9,700, Bitcoin, in my opinion, will be approaching that, that Fibonacci retracement, 14,000 to 16,000. I'm just not so sure it's going to happen, right? And we have another symmetrical triangle, the short-term symmetrical triangle we just looked at. We're currently testing the lower trend line there as well. We're trying to see if we can get a busted triangle there um, to, to really be the precursor to all this bullishness that everybody wants, right? So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, resistance ahead right at this lower trend line is the 200 moving average on the daily chart, right? So $9,200 or so, $9,300 on the very short term. That's what you want to look for. See if Bitcoin makes a break above that area. But at the end of the day, I, and this is probably boring to people that I say this, zoom out on the charts. Be prepared for some patience, right? Be prepared for, for downtrend. Be prepared for hitting targets, you know, that are a little bit lower than where we are now. Namely, this, this Fibonacci area, 8000 to $8,500 or so. And then beyond that, if we did hit this target, right, going over to this four-hour chart really spells it out. If we hit this target of this uh, symmetrical triangle, right, we're going to be down here in the $6,500 area. Are you ready for that? That is a huge accumulation area. That's why I say stop hoping, start preparing, because if we do hit those targets, it's really not bad. We'd be setting up a higher low for Bitcoin from its bear market bottom back here in December, January, right? A higher low, $6,500, accumulate, bounce, bull market. That's what I'm seeing on the charts, but I'm also seeing it might take some patience. Are you ready for that? Comment below. Let me know. Press one if you're bullish, two if you're bearish. If you're here and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. Appreciate you coming by. I will see you in the next video. God bless.